Guardian of the Waste. 38 hours of total playtime. Wear your badge. It could save your life. Is that the uh, Repcon headquarters right there? I think it might be. I think that might be the uh, the Repcon headquarters there. All right. So where we last left off, we needed to talk to Veronica because she has a lot to say, I think. Let's do that. What's up? What up, Veronica? How's it going? Tell me about yourself, I think is what we wanted My to ask. My favorite subject. Um... I don't remember ever seeing these like when we first met her, so we're gonna go through and ask her all of these questions, and then we'll see where we where we go after this. Uh, what are your goals, Veronica? Tell me about your life. I want a dress. Um, a dress, you say? Yeah, a good one. Something elegant and classy, you know, but still stylish. Something that's eye-catching and sexy, but also says, don't fuck with me. I keep hoping I'll come across some old-world designer gown when I'm scavenging, but it never happens. Maybe I should move back to California. That's your goal? You want a nice dress? Hey, you try getting a date wearing scribe robes. Might as well be wearing sweatpants. I just like them, you know? They make you feel like a woman. Those ladies before the war, they knew what they were doing. Okay. Uh, Can I make it up? Talk about something else. So she wants a dress. A dressed. Yes, a dressed. Uh, a dress. So I don't know if we'll, whenever we come across one, I guess. Um, who was this Father Elijah to you? Yeah. I would say he was my tutor, but that doesn't cover it. After my parents passed, he looked after me. The whole brotherhood brought me up, really, but he made sure of it. I never had a grandfather. Not that I knew, anyway. But Elijah was in some ways what I'd imagine a grandfather to be. Wow. Okay, that's a lot. Did you follow him from California? It was by his request, actually. He cleared it with the other elders. Somehow. They sent him to look into the dam. There was a time when I'd have begged to follow. Watch him at work. What changed? He did. For years, he fought with the council. Taught me to question our direction. Meanwhile, he'd become more out of touch than all of them. On our way east, he demanded we stop at Helios 1 to examine it. While we were there, we received word that the NCR had taken the dam. He was furious. Called it children playing with a bomb. But he was mad because we'd lost his power. What we'd use it for. He didn't even care. Um, how is that different from how any other elder would have reacted? They're cautious. When they discover something, they respect it, learn its limits, consider how to preserve it. Used to drive Father Elijah crazy. He liked to learn limits too, but only so he could push them. That's not to excuse the other elders, though. They all covet technology for its own sake. Some are just more fanatical than others. Uh, you ever tried to talk some sense into him? Yeah, I did. I couldn't help him. He just didn't listen. And the idea that people talk back to him. If he could have made the Brotherhood act like machines, ordering them around with the push of a button, he would have. Uh, what did you learn from him, this Elder Elijah, Elijah Father could Elijah? Elijah an old device and immediately understand what made it work. And he could see its potential, where it fit with other technology. It's not something he could teach, but he tried with me. Some of it stuck. But that's what he taught me. You ask what I learned from him. Uh, how is that different? What did you learn from him? I learned what I don't want to become. In the end, there was just him and his vision. Nothing and no one else. Uh, were you close? Sounds yeah. like it. I miss him. Um, where is he now? Dead, maybe? I don't know. Last time anyone saw him was in the battle at Helios 1. I wasn't there. He gave orders to hold the plant until it could be reactivated, but he ran out of time. The NCR overran it. Everyone thought he was dead, but I got a note from him at a comm station. That's how he liked to talk, even to me. He wasn't good at face-to-face. -face. 
Uh, what was in the note? It was strange, even for Father Elijah. He's always been unstable, but this was something else. I don't want to say delusional, but I don't know what else to call it. The only thing familiar about it was the signature. He said the Brotherhood was doomed, but that he'd return, save us. But the way he said it, I don't know. Said he'd return with one of the greatest treasures of the old world. Make the Mojave like it was meant to be. Wipe the slate clean. Wipe the slate clean. Okay, tell me something else about like you. What? Um. <laughs> Do you have any other family in the Brotherhood? Just my parents, but they haven't been around for a long time. Dad was a paladin, Mom was a scribe. They died in the same battle, trying to hold off the NCR from something. I don't remember what it was. Guess it seemed important at the time. Okay. Like what? Uh, this is interesting. Ever been in love? Ever been nosy? I was, once. We were pretty young, but I like to think it was love. Yeah, I'm curious. What happened? She left the Brotherhood. Wanted to put some distance between herself and oh, her parents. Oh, okay, all right. Since our membership isn't open to outsiders, Likes ladies. some members think that obligates all of us to procreate. You can guess which camp her parents belong to. You didn't go with her? Uh, hey, online Matella. I'd hoped love would be enough to influence her decision, but it wasn't. We were both too stubborn. I don't know where she is now, but I'm sure she's moved on. I still think about her, though. Once in a while. Once in a while, okay. Uh, the last thing... Oh, actually, there's two places. Uh, are you well-respected among the other members of the Brotherhood? If you take trying to keep me as far away from Hidden Valley as possible because I ask too many difficult questions as a sign of respect, oh yeah. That's not to say I don't get along with them. I just think they don't know what to do with me sometimes. Okay. Like... Uh, the last thing, is there some place you wanted to take, uh, is there some place you wanted me to take you? No, we're specific. I just know there are a lot of groups who are actually doing well for themselves out here. I want to understand how and why. See them at work. Okay. Um, I don't think there was anything else he wanted to ask. Um. Yeah, we don't need anything. We've already asked her those when we first <laughs> met her, so... All right. Uh, never realized before. Uh, really? Interesting. Morning. Okay. All right. So, uh, the last thing that we did here was we gave the parts. We told the elder about um, the uh, fixing the the air filtration and. In order to join the Brotherhood and get power armor training and, and have power armor, we have to go to Black Mountain and install the remote signal transmitter in one of the consoles there. So, um, we, we needed to go to Black Mountain anyway for uh, the super mutants that want to take it back. I think it was crazy crazy, yeah. Um, so, we're, we're definitely going to do that. We're going to help the super mutants take it back because they're nice. Um, we need to, but first of all, uh, I wanted to go to Jacobstown and talk to Marcus for a little bit about, uh, maybe Black Mountain and see what he thinks, um, before we go there. But, uh, but yeah, the big thing today is going to be, uh, Black Mountain. Kilimento, what's up? How are you? I'm doing well. Um, excited to start the day of, uh, Fallout here. Uh, cannot wait. So... Uh, there really isn't anything else to do here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, get started on that. Go visit Jacobstown. It didn't look very big uh, when we were there yesterday. But we'll um, we'll check it out. I, the, the main thing is going to speak with Marcus, though. So I want to talk with him before we take uh, Black Mountain again. So, do that. And I kind of want to check the other bunkers here. Um, I know we've been in one other bunker, which led to nowhere, but 
I want to see if that key that he gave us was for some of the bunkers here or not. Um, so we'll see. Uh, glad to hear you're doing good. Awesome. All right. Get on with the uh, the fallouts here. We heard Veronica talking with the elder. We won't stand for this. Dude, his helmet looks pretty cool. Look at that. Uh oh. Seven. Uh, we're twenty. Wow, I did not expect this. Uh, if I gotta kill this guy, I'm killing him. Just saying. He's a prick anyway. Um. I don't get what the big deal is. This isn't your place. You're neither head scribe nor elder. Yeah, I'll say that. Their sentimentality prevents them from administering justice. Our duty is to the Codex above all. Something your companion has forgotten. And that gives us the authority to make it our place. Uh, I won't get what, I don't, I don't get what the big deal is. High Elder Maxon didn't just found the Brotherhood. He defined it. <laughs> to Elder serve the Brotherhood is to serve his ideals. Our way of life is based on them. We know no other path. There is no other path. With her leanings, Veronica spits in the face of every knight, paladin, and scribe to serve in our ranks. <clears throat> I don't think she does. <laughs> Funny fact here, Elder uh, Maxon follows me on Twitter. This is true. You can you can go and look for yourself. He actually does. Uh, won't stand for what? She plans to respect the Elder's decision. Respect nothing. She plans to whisper in his ear, poison him against the Codex. No. This has to end now. Execute them. Oh my. Okay. I can't believe we're actually doing this right now. But this guy's asking for it. Gauss rifle? Oh, dang. Okay. All right. Well... There's a lot of burning going on here. Ooh! Whoa! Dude, the power of Veronica and Pushy, she just knocked heads off. She literally won us that fight on her own. Wow. You know what? I am uh, sorry about this. But you guys kind of had it coming. I'm a suit. Oh God, I should get used to this. I guess people get desperate; they mm. turn on each other. First thing to go is trust. I don't think it's ever going to be the same for me in there. Knowing no matter what I do, it's going to end badly. But they're all I have. Veronica quest. Quest complete. I could make you care. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is that the quest that we're supposed to go look for for the uh, pulse rifle or something there? Uh, I can make you care. Which one is this one? Uh, yeah, this was going to check the technology. Why did that end? The Brotherhood will not be pleased. Uh, Veronica, paladins will be angry. If Veronica decided to leave the Brotherhood, the player can tell them that. If Veronica decided to stay in the Brotherhood, the pal paladins are not easily dissuaded. Solutions are that scare them off with terrifying presence. Fast travel before they have a chance to engage you in conversation. Oh. The player will not gain infamy, but the Brotherhood with the Brotherhood or lose Veronica's trust by killing them, at least if the Paladin shoot first. Okay. Uh, you can get a unique uh, one of the Gauss rifle if you didn't take the Wild uh, Wasteland perk. Well, we took that, so. Um, conclusion Veronica remains a member. Veronica gets the Bond of Steel perk. Uh, 
Veronica decides to leave? Hmm. I wonder if we can still go and get those uh, technologies or not. Um, will they take you back after you killed these people? I think so. Two things the Brotherhood has a lot of. Hardheads and lasers. Wouldn't be the first time a disagreement ended like this. Oh, well then. Plus, we killed all the witnesses. Yeah, I guess we're good. Are you still going to travel with me? Yeah. I've got the rest of my life to help them out. I could spare a little while to see things through it with you. Okay. Let's get out of here then. Good idea. <clears throat> Veronica has received the Bonds of Steel perk, substantially increasing her armor. Okay, cool. I just... Let me see that quest though. I can make you care because we still need to go and do that. I'm guessing that's a, just a, like a, a bug in the quest or something. We could probably still go to these places and get the stuff. Uh, you can get the other tech as well. It goes nowhere. Okay, good. I guess it's just buggy uh, for whatever reason. Uh, that tends to happen in Fallout games as quests get bugged. Um, overlapping quests and stuff like that, so. Whatever. Hidden Valley Bunker Key. Okay, yeah, this is it. We're gonna grab all of their, um, all their weapons and armor and, and stuff like that before we distribute them amongst our friends. Gauss Rifle, man, that's insane. That gun was pretty good in, uh, the previous fallouts. Take that. Dude, I still can't believe, like, she just, like, destroyed all of them by herself. Veronica, what a real woman. What a woman. Alright, uh, let's go to weapons. Repair the Gauss rifle. Um, uh, 45. Repair it with that. What's the difference here? Strength one, and you don't lose two agility. I think losing two agility is pretty huge. Um, so I think we're going to keep those power armors separate. Uh, ooh, charisma plus one. That's pretty, that's pretty good. Uh, I think we'll keep that helmet instead. Uh, okay. Uh, who can hold some power armor? I think you can. Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress? So hold on to those. We'll get your dress at some point. Um, give you the pistol, the Gauss rifle, the heavy incinerator, the uh, tri beam laser. And the knife. Just hold that for now. Okay. Alright, well. I did not see that coming. Kind of wish I would have taken um, the, uh, the perk that scares them away. But that's alright. Whatever. If it doesn't affect me, then uh, that's fine. Okay, so before we head out of here, let's look in the rest of these bunkers here. Um, for treasure. And stuff. Uh, by the way, he will give you T-45 armor when you get the training. You're going to want to use the T-51 because it's set better, in, better at least in my opinion. The Gauss is an energy weapon. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm not going to use that right now, but I'm sure at some point we will. Kind of bothers me a little bit though that we did have to end up killing them, but like she said, there is a lot of hard people in the uh There's a lot of hard people, hard headed people in the uh the Brotherhood. Alright, so let's open up all these bunkers. Um then we'll go to Jacob's town, talk to Marcus, explore there a little bit, uh, and then go to, to Black Mountain. Oh, this is the one that we already checked, okay. So, there wasn't anything in this one. How many other bunkers are in this area besides the main one? Is it like, um... There are like three or something? 
take a look. Um, go to this one. Why is there always scorpions here? always freaking scorpion. Do 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 do. Wait, where's the other thing at over here? Let's check this bunker. I think that's the main bunker. There might be one more around here. Let's see. Save it. Go in. <clears throat> Empty. Anything in these crates? No. Intercom, you hear nothing. Is anyone there? You hear nothing. Okay. So what are these keys for then? Hidden Valley Bunker is what they're, they're for. Yet yeah, we had to open that lock though. Huh. I'm just, I'm just going to assume that These bunkers are pretty much, uh, you can't do anything in them, probably. There's three. Let's walk down here and see if there's any, uh, 